Hey YouTube, it's Balsong10, uh, coming to you with a new series of videos. Um, as I believe I remember I said in one of my last uh, videos, um, I think it was my first soap suit instructional, I'm not quite sure. But um, I have, at the age of, I believe it was four, I was uh, di di diagnosed with ADHD. Which leads me to have a lot of interests. Um, knives, Balsong, skateboarding, BMX, rollerblading. Um, snowboarding, uh, surfboarding, paintball, cars, cars, models, everything. Basketball, even more surfing. Um, so I do have a lot of interests, as well as wakeboarding, um, and a lot of other ones. Um, and so I was just, and not, right now, currently, it is dark out. It is some, it is... 9.30, um, and, uh, I was just out skating at my half pipe, um, maybe what my morning, why the hell was I doing that in the dark? Well, I have, uh, a light rig out there, so I can see very well, actually. Um, however, I did not see one of the screws that was popping up, and, uh, the back of my wheel hit it, and popped it out of its thing, I slipped, and the screw went right through the back of my jeans. As well as my boxers, and so I got a big cut in my butt. Um, not too bad, but yeah. So, anyways, started came inside because I was just tired and really sweaty. So I was looking on YouTube for uh, aggressive skate maintenance because I try to always be, uh, clean up my skates after every single session. Um, and I couldn't find anything on actually aggressive skates. I could find them on inline skates, but not aggressive skates. So I thought. Why not? I'm I'm gonna start a uh, a aggressive skate maintenance um, uh, playlist um, series. And first things first, aggressive skating it's dangerous. Um, you got eight wheels on you attached to your feet. If you fall, you fall. Um, as well as it can get expensive in terms of upgrades, um, insurance. Hopefully not insurance, but as well as just skates. Skates these days. A good pair of aggressive skates, um, depending on how good you are, where you want to go, are going to cost you from anywhere between 150 to 300 bucks, which, which that brings it to, if you're young, at least 14, in Pennsylvania at least, other states may be different, get a job. Try to get some job to get some money, because it will be expensive. So, today I will be showing you, um how to install anti-rocker wheels and in case just for beginners these are the uh, Valo H uh, JJ point ones and I took off the, the frames for just for the uh, lack of time skates you got your sole plate both sides and then you got your H block and then you got I can't remember what that's called just have a blank but what anti-rocker wheels are so for skateboarders, if you have this, let's say this is an edge of a ramp, right? The ramp is here, and you have your rail here. Your H block goes here, right on that metal uh, pipe, all right? And sometimes when you have big wheels such as this, these are 57, 57, 57, 57, all 57 millimeters. There's things that you can buy called anti-rocker wheels, which are much smaller, as you can see. And what they do is that you replace your middle two ones with anti-rocker wheels, right? So then... When you are trying to lock it on your rail, you have a little bit more to give. So it's a little bit easier to um, lock on. Now, you can always buy freestyle frames, which just kind of go like that, which without any rockers. However, if you can skate any rocker wheels, that does open you up to more possibilities. So I recommend any rockers. Um, they're very nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you this, all right? Um, depending on these, I have these are these any rocker wheels are. Um, our undercover UMHV use something like that. Um, I got them at skateaggressive.com. There's other other websites such as uh, aggressivemall.com. Um, but there's something uh, there's something like thirty bucks or something. You can buy them with with bearings. You can just get them without. They're a little bit less expensive and use your old. Depending on what bearings you, they came with, ABEC fives, threes, or sevens, whatever. So, anyways, let's get to the video. Now, for for sake of video length, 
Um, I have already loosened up a bunch of stuff here. Uh, my frames as well as my uh, screws. Now, every single uh, skate you buy that's not complete crap, it will most likely come with a um, Allen wrench set. These are my two main ones. It also comes with a small one from a buckle. However, that's in my um, skate bag currently. Um, as well as when you also want to get your, um, yourself a little bottle of uh, Loctite. It's going to come in handy. Um, so when taking off your frames from your from your skates, all right, you're gonna have these screws, which are gonna be first. You have to do under your wheels. You can always get access, but you can't actually take them off, all right? They're right here. They're called your UFS bolt. The longer one tends to be in the back. And the shorter one tends to be in the front. Um, and you can see why just by looking at the threads. It's a little bit closer up than that one. All right. So once you take that off, it's called the UF UFS bolt. You take out this wheel, and you just unscrew that. So then you get to your wheels. You, you just have your frame. Your uh, yeah, it's just this part's called just the frame. All right. So you take your two Allen wrenches. All right. And the anti rocker wheels go in the middle. So don't worry about the two end ones. Um, if you if one side's getting worn down, you want to rotate them because if you're t stopping or whatever, um, whatever, however you stop, uh, when not on a rail or such, or if there isn't a, a wall in front of you. And what you're just gonna do is you're just gonna Loosen them up, and now all skates are going to come with this kind of thing going through it, alright? You got your bolt, and then you have a thing, alright? You got your bolt, and then you have a thing. I always just screw them together, just so that you can make sure you have each piece, alright? Just put that off to the side, and I don't know if you need to do that, so just pop out your wheel. And do that same for the other middle one. Um... And just in terms for sakes of video length, um, I'm not going to go over rotating your wheels right now. But it's very simple. All you would do is you would take them out once once one side is getting worn down. So the wheel is starting to look like this, instead of like this, instead of like this. Um, you're just going to want to rotate it. And all that does is you undo the screw, right? pop it out, and then flip it. And put it back in. It's that simple. And then make sure you put it on the same skate so that the opposite side is getting dragged when you're doing your T-stop. So it's that simple, alright? Then again, put your screw in here, like, like so. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but... No, you can see it. Alright, cool. So... Now there are tools you can buy to help take out Allen keys um, and take out your bearings. However, I just always found nice Allen key works. Um, the way I judge it, I just kind of use this one. But if you don't have an Allen key already, I would recommend an Allen key that is about half. If you have this this opening right there where your um, axle goes through, it's about half the thickness of the opening of your axle. And so what you're going to do with, with skate wheels, you're going to have... Um, uh, space in the inside. So what you're going to want to do is just put this in partially. Just so you feel, you'll feel like a little lip. And just angle it, right? And just pop it right out. And this is the little spacer, alright? So what this is in there, it's it's in there like this. And it just prevents dirt from getting in there. So what you're going to be hitting is the, is the lip right in between this and that piece right there. And you just pop it out, alright? That one under there, I'll get that later. You pop out your other side, and then you grab your other wheel, pop out one side, pop, take out the spacer, pop out the bearing. So now you got your old wheels, alright? Put those off to the side. I would keep them just because if your wheels that you use that aren't any rockers crack, you only got spares. So never throw out your old wheels. Um, as well as just so you don't have ones in case your other ones get wearing down. Probably about at that time you'll probably replace them, but it's always nice to have them. Alright, now. Um, always, it's always nice when you, before you put bearings in to check them, make sure they're clean. These currently are clean just because I just cleaned them. Um, again, to save length in video because I can only put like 10 minute videos. So, so, 
you have your four demanding rocket wheels, of course you have four because two go on each, right? Side side by side the H block. So grab two of them, because you have two on one frame, alright? Now, most likely the space that comes in your stock wheels, if they're not already in a rocket wheels and you purchase any rocket wheels, they will not actually fit in the middle, in the thing. So, um, one thing I actually just kind of thought of just now, um, I don't know if any you guys use Connector at all, I used to when I was a kid. There's gray little spacers that are the same thickness as three blue ones. Uh, pop one of those in there and that actually might work as a spacer. I'll try that later and I'll tell you how it works, but try that. I just thought of that just now. Because um, it's the same kind of as a skate bearing, uh, a skateboard wheel. Alright, so then you take your bearing, right? Put it in there and just pop it in. It's that simple. Alright? Take the other one, pop it in. And same for the other wheel. Alright, now literally, it's just the same thing. Except reverse, alright? Pop in your wheel. Now, depending on what frame you have, you might have a... Um, you might have a hole in the bottom, which, depending on your anti-rocker wheel size, um, for anti-rocker wheels, I recommend something between 47 and 40. These are 40 millimeters, so they will actually just literally just slide right through the bottom hole. So just kind of put, cover that up. Oh, it's starting to rain. And lightning. <coughs> Alright. So you put your wheel in, right? And then you grab your two, your screw and your bolt slash axle and just line up from the side to make sure it's straight it saves a lot of time when you're just trying to kind of jiggle it in there all right and then you twist it as much as you can with your finger and then grab your two allen wrenches my other one went somewhere right here all right and then just put one on one side um, if you have long allen wrenches, what I do, just for quickness, 